You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi, friends. I have another great show for you today. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, CNA TV, please hit the button down below. My opening thought, we must view young people not as empty bottles to be filled, but as candles to be lit. I wrote this little poem for you. You never know when someone may catch a dream from you. You never know when a little word or something you may do may open up the windows of a mind that seeks the light. The way you live may not matter at all, but you never know it might. The young make the mistake of thinking that education can take the place of experience. The old make the mistake of thinking experience can take the place of education. A father and his small son were out walking one afternoon when the youngster asked how the electricity went through the wires stretched between the telephone poles. Don't know, said the father. Never knew much about electricity. A few blocks further on, the boy asked, what caused lightning and thunder? To tell the truth, said the father, I never exactly understood that myself. The boy continued to ask questions throughout the walk, none of which the father could explain. Finally, as they were nearing home, the boy asked, Pop, I hope you don't mind me asking so many questions. Of course not, replied the father. How else are you going to learn? Sooner or later, of course, unless the father seeks the answers, the boy will stop asking questions. That would be unfortunate. Curiosity and the desire to learn should be encouraged and nurtured. Parents who want their children to do well in school, but who don't respect learning, are deluding themselves. Not many children will be motivated to do it on their own. The same is true in business. Managers or supervisors must set the example for those under them. If they have stopped learning and growing, they will be hard put to inspire their subordinates to do so, no matter how much they may pretend to encourage it. Greek mathematician Euclid was engaged to teach geometry to a boy who was the heir to the Egyptian throne. The prince proved to be a poor student who balked at learning a system of logic that required him to prove so many elementary theorems before he could move on. Is there no simpler way you can get to the point, he asked. Surely the crown prince should not be expected to concern himself with such minutia. Sire, responded Euclid, there is no royal road to learning. If you give a man a fish, he will eat once. If you teach a man to fish, 
he will eat for the rest of his life? If you're thinking a year ahead, sow seed. If you're thinking 10 years ahead, educate the people. By sowing seed, you will harvest once. By planting a tree, you will harvest tenfold. By educating the people, you will harvest one hundredfold. In ancient times, a king decided to find and honor the greatest person among his subjects. A man of wealth and property was singled out. Another was praised for his healing powers. Another for his wisdom and knowledge of the law. Still another was lauded for his business acumen. Many other successful people were brought back to the palace. And it became evident that the task of choosing the greatest would be difficult. Finally, the last candidate stood before the king. It was a woman. Her hair was white. Her eyes shone with the light of knowledge, understanding, and love. Who is this? asked the king. What has she done? You have seen and heard all the others, said the king's aide. This is their teacher. The people applauded and the king came down from his throne to honor her. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. And once again, it's feeding time for the pups, Cora May and Bubba. <laughs> so I'll see you next week, friends. This is John Willard from the phone.